Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. Greetings, everyone. BJ Weller back with you. Finally, after a week of, uh, well, actually almost two weeks now. Yeah, a week and a half, actually. About, because it was, uh, I think, last Wednesday. So last week before this ear infection kicked my butt. And I'm still uh, still recovering, still in recovery. I actually have about another week and a half of, of treatment and recovery uh, left to go here with it. But I wanted to try to get back into the swing of things here, do some streaming, get rocking and rolling. So, uh, yeah, still can't hear out of this ear very well. <laughs> I'm uh, practically deaf. Not that I, I was practically deaf before, but the inner infection has only made it worse. So, um yeah, this should be interesting. Although I have been playing the hunting games uh, without actually streaming because it's just... Uh, I've been playing a few games without actually streaming just to uh, keep myself sane, you might say. But uh, let's get out of the rain here to begin with. But yeah, it's been interesting. I've actually... Uh, oh, pardon me. Had some, uh, had some pretty good hunts here over the, uh, over the uh, course of the time we've... Uh, I, I popped in and played... But um, let's see what we're going to do here today. Let's see what missions. So the, yeah, we're not going to do the big coyote tour. Mount Kraken. I don't know if I'm going to Mount Kraken. Oh, you know what? I think there's another um, Mount Leviathan. So, yeah, we're in Mount Leviathan. So i got to spot another coyote. Uh, We've got to harvest a couple of blacktail. Uh, wait, at least 70 kilograms. And we gotta travel to Belmont and harvest a animal from uh, 75 meters or more away. So there was a... Um, oh, we have a perk point, too. Skills. Uh, let's see what we got in skills here. Highlighted. Yes. So we, uh, yeah. so we are not visible right now. Uh, perk. Let's see. Perk point here. Um, keep firing all weapons. Decreased wobble in aim mode. Uh, hold breath. I've got what holding. Uh, which one? Which, which one holds the breath? Does tab hold the breath? I forget. I'm going to have to check. Um, that's rifle, archery. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's up that one. So, if you want to get uh, into more archery here, right, let's take a look at the map. I'm trying to think. Mount Leviathan, um... Belmont Lake. I think there was a coyote out this way. But not, or no, coyote was up this way. Chiva. We got to go to Mount Leviathan. That's right, there's a coyote out here. A coyote range out here somewhere. Um, coyote area. Yeah. The need zone. Jackrabbit, so we may head out that way. I've got to, um, outpost, guess we look at the map of where the outposts are. Uh, it's all the way in Belmont, it's the other side of Chila. There's one here in South Chila, so maybe we'll go hit that one. Okay. There's one out here somewhere, I think, right? Or northeast. More east than north. It's like right out here. Actually, just one. Or I'm looking at the wrong one here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll head off to that one then. Head off out over this way. 
Uh, let's go see if we can spot a coyote though. Them. I think we're good on supplies. Make sure. Alright, we got enough bolts, enough ammo. Send eliminator, deer, jackrabbit, no kind. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's head on out. Time is it? Four o'clock. All right. All right. All I need to do. Hold on here. Yeah, it's not tab. What's hold breath? I forgot what hold breath is here. Left shift, okay. What space? Yeah, see, space is jump. Stand up. They've added more things to do, so left shift. So let's make sure. Okay. Aiden call, huh? Sound like he's a fair distance you know, away. I spotted some tracks earlier. Close scared to me, Doc. Right he scared now. me. I'll send the coordinates. Come on. Got it. I wonder if I'm my rabbits out there too, huh? Female, but at least it gets us starting out here somewhere. Nice. All right. Both lungs.
See if we find some rabbits here. Of course, as soon as we start looking for the rabbits, the rain is going to go away. To hear anything, I've got to turn to this ear so I can hear something. Is that the need zone? That's the coyote need zone there. If there were any coyote out here, they probably got scared off. Here. Signs of coyote. There's one. What the hell is that? Probably the old. Harvest moon. All right, let's see where these things are leading us. Kind of away from where we want to be. We want to be heading north up this way. But let's see for now.
course, we're heading due south now where we want to go north. That's right. We'll see where it leads us. Very old. Yeah, I'll try to pick up something that's going to be fresh here. Really? I know it came from that side because I could actually hear it. I will keep going. Ah, see, now it turns back. There's no indication of it going. That was male. Of course, I'm upwind of the thing naturally. Hey, Baldolf, what's going on? How you doing today? Come this way. Come on, you know you want to. Where did that grunt come from? Got here. Damn it. Smelled me. Really didn't want to have to use scent illuminator until I found the coyote. question is how badly do I want to go after it? Hmm. 
Seems a lot of sidetracking. All right, let's get back on the coyote here. I'm directly upwind of where they're at, so it's... We'll wait. We'll wait. We already bagged a female in the first five minutes of being out here, so... I'm not that desperate to get another one yet. Turn my light off yet? Yeah, it looks like I can. I think five o'clock is the end of the evening. That's what we're looking for. All right, now I will. Okay. All we have to do is spot this damn thing. We're downwind. That was really close. Ah, uh, six, six.
One for the coyote and one for the deer. track we're going to be looking for is down that way, I think. I have, no, I, I have no idea what you're saying, Abs. It, it was a black track and it was knocking on our door. Really? It was a person. Uh, we, me and Aaron ran into my room for 10 minutes. Okay, Abs. That was on me. I couldn't get up and milk was too short as well. Okay, Abs. No idea what the hell that was that was about, but you know what? That's where the troll. Okay, I was about to say, when are you gonna pick up here? I have a feeling both this deer and coyote have wandered off. Sounds like it should be right on the other side of the rock here. That one responds, but this one doesn't. <laughs> I'd love to get right on top of this thing. hear it. I can't see it. still here. I 
can probably smell me even with the scent eliminator on. That irks me to no end. Hey Taz, what up? Oh yeah, yeah, I still, uh, yeah, I still can't really hear out of this ear yet. And when I took my treatment, uh, I put the treatment in this morning, oh my God, it just, waves of agony rolled through me. So I ended up having to take a pain pill. Is it just like, as soon as I put it in, it's like something went through like my sinus and right into my throat. I was like, oh my God, I spent about 20 minutes just in pain until the medicine, the pain medicine kicked in. Because we had to go to, uh, we had to go to the sh uh, grocery store this morning just to pick up a few things. Um, before the, uh, before all the apocalypse people got everything. But, uh, yeah, I still, it's still very, very difficult to hear out, out of my right ear. This thing took off too. But yeah, I spent a, a good four days last week. Because when did I, I first went, when did I first go to the doctor? I think it was Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I went back. Yeah, so it was Thursday. And they gave me some, uh, amoxicillin which is the antibiotic or something it didn't yeah it, yeah it's, it's that's exactly what it is they're all panicking they think the apocalypse is coming it's ridiculous ah thank you it's a lot better than it was last week trust me four four straight days of of pain literally just pain 24 hours a day four days of it Because the, the amoxicillin just wasn't working. And I got, I think, two hours sleep Thursday night. And because uh, I, I went to bed, I, you know, it, it wasn't hurting that as much. But it, it was enough to, to be very uncomfortable. And I woke up uh, after two hours Thursday night after I went to bed. And I couldn't go to sleep again because it just the pain was too much and it was the same thing friday again i fell asleep for two hours and then i was up the rest of the night and it just got worse from there i mean literally sunday night and right Sar saturday night and sunday night at best i got maybe 45 minutes to an hour sleep each night just because it was just it was just so freaking painful and I had to I had to go back Monday. I went back Monday just to get painkillers because I I could not sleep. I could not sleep. And so uh, you know it was another doctor I saw Monday and she checked again and said yeah it's a she gave me uh, some ear drops because it's like the amoxicillin wasn't working. Infection some time ago. Oh my God yeah I know it's like this is the worst pain I've felt in a long time. I mean, I've been sick. Like, I had the stomach virus like a month and a half ago. And that knocked me for a loop for a day. But it wasn't, like, painful. You just felt sick. You know? That's all it was. This was just, just pain. Pain to the point where I was literally writhing in agony. On, on a regular basis. And it was just, and it would go like, not just, it was just, it, it, and you can't do anything about it because it's inside your head, literally inside your head. I mean, my whole half, the whole half of my head here was just throbbing, throbbing, throbbing constantly. And then there'd be points where it, it just like a spike, like somebody was driving a pickaxe or something, like right through the top of my head here. It'd be under my chin in here, just points along the back of my head too. It just it, it would just be oh my god. But uh, yeah, Monday I, I got the painkiller. I took them those things right because I, I started taking Advil, and like uh, on Friday because I still had to work. Fr you know Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 
I still had to get into work. So I took Advil on Friday. And it, it was fine. Actually, after I took the Advil, it's like, you know, it, the pain went away, stuff like that. I said, okay, good. I, I can get through the rest of the day. I'll be fine. Just waiting for the amoxicillin to kick in. And Saturday, I took it again, and it lasted like two hours. I was like, okay, this this is not good. And then uh, just from there on out, it's like I was just, because uh, I didn't want to start downing paint, you know, like the over-the-counter painkillers. So I was like, I, I don't want to get to the point where I'm downing like five or six of these things. Because we had some um, acetaminophen at home, but that, that did literally nothing to ease the pain. And then the Advil, after two days, he stopped working. Because it's like every four hours hell was that all right i don't know what that was every four hours it'd be like clockwork the pain would stop and like i said that was only the first day after that it got down to two hours and one hour i'm like oh my god but yeah after i got the drops on uh on monday as soon as as soon as, soon as i actually did, did i get them on? no i didn't get them on monday i went to the doctor on monday the pharmacy didn't have them they didn't get them till Tuesday. So I ended up calling out of work on Tuesday because, like I said, I had literally 40, 45 minutes of sleep Monday night. From 4 o'clock to 4.45 in the morning, I passed out because I was so exhausted at that time. But even through that, I, could, I couldn't sleep more than 45 minutes before the pain woke me up again. It was absolutely brutal. I think this is deer. This isn't, or no, is this the wolf or coyote? Yes, this is the coyote. So that was, the, so this, this is where I heard the coyote. So this was uh, the same one I was tracking here. All right, let's go see. And it's like, I, like, like I, uh, like I said in uh, discord, it's like, you know, I, 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 you know, I I try even that I I'd log in like I I'd go in. You know, I got yeah you know, after work I was off Sunday and Monday. Of course, like I said, I called off Tuesday. Uh, just because I couldn't take it anymore. But I I come down. I tried to get into Stronghold Kingdoms. I tried to I tried to play something because I I still wanted to try to stream. But it's like I'd be here and it's just like the pain would just throb. I'd be sitting here. I'd have to stop for like an hour. Just because the pain was just so distracting. And then I come back down, start doing something in the game for five minutes, and be like, the pain is just. I wanted to play games to try to take take my mind off the pain, and it, it didn't work. So I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to stream. <laughs> but then uh, Tuesday, Tuesday evening, four o'clock, the phone call came. We have it. It's like, thank God. I ran out, grabbed it, put it in my ear, and it's like almost immediately. As soon as I put the drops in, it's like, oh my God, it was such relief. Such friggin' relief. Get rid of this, huh? There's something blue out there, so it might be my coyote track. We're looking for I think it's some poo so it'll tell me how old this is but yeah so the last few days and drops have really been really been helping I can feel I can feel it getting better very old shit so I'm going nowhere with this coyote I might as well just head north. Screw it. Good luck finding a coyote ever again. But like I said, today today was just it was really weird how I put the drops in. It was just like oh my god, a sheet of pain over the side of the head. So I was kind of worried that I wasn't getting the drops in the ear enough. To make a difference except I could you know I could feel it getting a little bit better but I was still doubting how much so I think maybe today was the key that yeah the drops really went all the way in this time
So I got about another week and a half. I think the 23rd? I think like the 23rd is technically the last day of treatment according to the prescription. So we'll see. And yeah, it's been a madhouse with this coronavirus. I mean, I work at Target, so I'm like on the front lines of this stuff. And my God, friggin' people are absolutely insane. Absolutely freaking insane. Oh, shit. I don't know if I scared him or not. But yeah, there's like nothing. We've got no, we've got like no food left in the store. They just coming in and buying. I think I scared the damn thing. Fuck. Story of my life today, except for the damn female we got in the first five minutes of the hunt. Oh, I didn't scare it. Uh, now I did. Oh, there it is. That's oh, a female. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, you son of a bitch. I completely missed it. I hit the tree. I hit the tree behind it, for God's sakes. you got to be kidding me. Oh, vent schools. Yeah, see, uh, my, yeah, Aaron, Aaron's school, they, they closed school. Uh, we got the message that they, they, they were planning on closing school. I think on Friday, Friday, we got the message. So they're, they're done for two weeks. She doesn't go back till, uh, yeah, see, nobody can figure out what, what the deal is with toilet paper. I guess, I guess when I go back on Tuesday, if I see somebody buying toilet paper, I gotta ask. Because nobody can figure out what the deal is with toilet paper. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just really, really weird. But, yeah, we've just absolutely been getting wiped out of everything. But yeah, Aaron. So Aaron's got to uh, sort of telecommute. Uh, so she'll be doing stuff online for two weeks, and we just got the notice today that, uh, well, actually, the county we live in was declared a state of emergency, and so mandatory they're going to shut ev pretty much everything down. So her uh, Abby's daycare is closed for two weeks now. Uh, my wife's store actually is closing this week, so she gets to spend the week home. Of course, since I work at Target, we we are considered essential because <laughs> we sell both groceries and have a pharmacy, so my store isn't closing. I'm like, great. That's just fantastic. So here we are on the front lines. They're not doing anything to protect us, so <laughs> I can almost guarantee I'm going to get this thing. I can guarantee I'm going to end up getting this thing. Because, you know, there, there's these freaking idiots that feel the need. Oh, I got to go out and buy my, I got to go out and get my, uh, my bottled Frappuccino or some other useless item that they actually don't really need. So let's run down to Target and go get it. Even though I'm not feeling well, I've got to go have this. So, uh, yeah. So they're going to come down, infect the entire friggin' store. Freaking ridiculous. All right, so you know what? Let's go. Let's go ahead. We're going. We're going to head up this way. We're going to head up to. Uh, we're going to head up that way. We're going for the long walk here today. Need to close for this time. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's like, like, like uh, so, 
Montgomery County, who was hit the hardest so far in my area, uh, mandatory, everything's closed. You have to close. But I don't, th it's, it, it's weird because certain states and certain counties are, are having different rules for, what's, for what they're doing and what's going on. So some places are closed and some, you know, I, some pla I don't think it's, it's mandatory yet where we're at that you close, but a lot of businesses are anyway. But then there's still some businesses that should be closed because they're non-essential, but they're still open. That, at least that we saw today. So it's, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I think it's, it's supposed to be for two weeks, so at least till the end of the month. That everybody should be closed, except for, you know, the pharmacies and their grocery stores. Which, at the end of the day, you know, it's not... I mean, you're going to contain it to some extent by keeping a lot of stuff closed, but everybody needs groceries. You know, everybody's going to go get their medicine. So, at the end of the day, it's not... If you're going to leave those places open without any means to protect the people who are going there and the employees who work there, it doesn't matter. Because all it takes is one sick person, like, like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, so we, we've, we've, you know, just, just the, the eight hours I worked uh, each day the last couple of days, we've had, you know, a thousand, at least a thousand people in through the store who I've interacted with. It's, or e even if it's just passing by, you know, there's no six, there's no six foot distance. Not, not when you're that busy and that crowded, there's no way. And you're dealing with food. And everybody's touching the food and stuff. So it's, um, yeah, so it takes just one person, one person going through that. You've already infected or, 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 or uh, endangered a thousand people. <laughs> and now those thousand people, <laughs> you know, they're going to go home. Their families are going to, uh, to uh, be exposed to it. So you've got... Just by keeping a grocery store open, you've you've basically put you know three four thousand people in harm's way from one person, one person. So I'm looking at it like yeah, you know everybody needs groceries and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if you're serious about stopping this thing before it starts, it you have to close everything, and and figure out figure something else out after that i mean we can survive with what we got right now for two weeks if we stay in the house for two weeks we've got enough food you know we've got enough stuff to uh to get us through without having to make one of these armageddon runs to the store so and most people do most people don't realize they've actually got a month's worth of survival if they have to stay in their house all of a sudden but they panic so you know what just shut everything down and be done with it. You know, if you're going to need medicine, get, you know, just say, you know, everybody gets an extra supply. That's it. Go out there, get your extra supply, and you're set. Well, the whole thing, too, I don't know. I don't know if this made international news yet, but there was some doctor in our area who knew who he was sick. He had it. He knew he had it, and he still went to the hospital to, to work. And so he exposed God knows how many people just by doing that. So it's, you know, a friggin' doctor who should know better. Put people in, in jeopardy. So, you know, the typical, the typical moron in our society is going to do far worse. So it's, yeah. It should, yeah, I mean, I I haven't I haven't heard much beyond just that the initial story about it. But yeah, he absolutely should be prosecuted because it. I mean, it was a deliberate willful willful act. It's not like he didn't know he wasn't sick or something, you know. It's one thing if you don't if you're not showing signs or if you you know you're not bad enough to wear, uh, just you know. But he knew it. <laughs> he still did it anyway. 
because now they're because they're even telling people now don't if you're sick don't go to the doctor call first you have you know you, you, they're, they're they're not demand you know they're not requiring but they're suggesting they're telling you call first before you go to the doctor that way they can actually prepare and minimize the risk but you know idiots aren't gonna you know there's gonna be idiots that don't do that is that me walking? I can't tell if this is me walking or not. All right, I'm on rock. Christ, I was I would have been better off playing classic today. I've actually been more successful in my hunts in Classic than I have in this thing right now. Let's, see where we're at. Let's move on. Moving on. We still got a kilometer to go here. But yeah, so that's uh, that's where we're at right now. So I imagine at some point I'm going to end up doing a coronavirus stream here. <laughs> Because we're gonna we're gonna end up finally being uh, uh, mandatorily quarantined. I'll be sitting here with the sniffles trying to stream. Curiosity, what tracks we got out here? This deer may not be deer. This looks like it might be bear or coyote. That's deer or elk. Let's see what this is here. Ah, okay, so it's deer. Elk. Okay, it's elk. into Chile here. All right, let's keep going. Oh, that's not the button. We crossed into Chile. Hiking village, but yet there's no village. I think, there, I think there's some cabins or something out around this area somewhere. I stumbled across one of the times I was up here. Or no, you know? What? Oh no, I wasn't. Okay, I was up in this this area. I haven't actually come. Yeah, it's the first time I'm coming around this side of the mountain. I know I spotted cabins out here somewhere. I guess it was on the other side. Right, more of the elk out this way. What is uh, what is she doing? Oh my 
goodness, this little kitten, hungry for food. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some ca oh, look at that. There's a cabin over here. With the outhouse, of course. Ha ha. Yeah, but it'll be interesting. The next couple of weeks will tell the tale. Because, uh... Oh, my God! Uh, toilet paper. I gotta get... Hold on. Like, uh, yeah, a little kitten. <laughs> yeah, my daughter sent me something from TikTok about a little kitten who's just fripping out because she was starving. I, I can't get it. All right, well, at least we, we know there's some toilet paper here. But yeah, because uh, the next two weeks will tell the tale because that's when it's really going to peak for us is uh, it, the next two weeks. Pretty much when the, uh, the, the quarantines and everything else end, I think, is when it's going to end up peaking. So we'll have quarantined ourselves for no reason. <laughs> so, see, I wish this could look go to these cabins and stuff. Not necessarily make them functional like the like the actual uh, spawn point lodges, but give a little bit more immersion to it, where we can go in these things. Because that's what, these are just just non-functional lodges here because everything inside is pretty much the same as a lot the lodges oh, i'm stuck oh my god i really am stuck hold on let me crouch here what the hell am i stuck on the bench <laughs> i'm stuck i got myself stuck Z. Maybe I can crawl here. Oh my god, if I have to freaking zone out here. You're kidding me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, I am somehow stuck here on this bench. Oh, for God's sakes, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. <laughs> Where's the, uh, frick? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that thing's the closest right there, so I, I, gotta, I gotta travel back there. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, for Christ's sakes. That's just the way my luck has been. That's just the way my luck has been. All right, so now we got to go back another kilometer and a half. 